Now to that stunning twist in the attack on a federal judge's family that left her son dead and her husband injured. The FBI has identified the suspect as a prominent Manhattan attorney who they say dressed up as a FedEx delivery man and then later took his own life. Stephanie Ramos has the latest. This morning, disturbing new details about the suspect behind that grisly attack on a New Jersey federal judge's family. Authorities now identifying attorney Roy Denhollander as the man accused of dressing up like a FedEx driver, ringing the doorbell of Judge Esther Salas's home, then opening fire, killing her 20-year-old son, Daniel, and seriously injuring her husband, Mark. We advise she have two victims. After an urgent manhunt, Den Hollander found dead in a car from a self-inflicted gunshot wound about 100 miles north of the crime scene. Sources say a FedEx package was found in the car with him, addressed to Judge Salas. They're just such uh, fine, wonderful people. Authorities are now investigating whether Den Hollander, who had reportedly been diagnosed with terminal cancer, was on a deadly mission targeting his enemies. The New York Times reporting the Manhattan lawyer and self-described anti-feminist allegedly wrote about Judge Salas in a self-published book, calling her a, quote, lazy and incompetent Latina judge appointed by Obama. The two involved in a case dating back to 2015. The lawyer also known for suing Manhattan nightclubs over ladies night discounts, telling ABC News this in 2007. I'm now trying to turn this tables of equality on the feminazis who have changed this country over the past 40 years. Judge Salas, who was unharmed in the shooting, has presided in high profile cases involving Teresa Judice and Jeffrey Epstein. Now, family and friends mourning the loss of Judge Salas's son, Daniel, a student at Catholic University. Just a once in a lifetime teammate and a once in a lifetime person. Now, authorities in Crestline, California, say there may be links between the attack here at Judge Salas's home and the murder of a prominent men's rights activist who was gunned down at his front doorstep by a man also dressed like a FedEx driver earlier this month. Local officials tell us that that investigation is being led by the same FBI office that's overseeing the case here in New Jersey. Cecilia. So many questions there still. Okay, Stephanie, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.